Okay, I'm going to do a little update of what I've been uh, doing lately. These are some uh, arrow shafts I harvested and uh, different thicknesses. This one is uh, close to half inch or it was close to half inch. They've been drying for a few weeks. These are pre-straightened and I have not pre-straightened these and they're pretty much already dried out so they may be a little difficult to straighten. I normally don't pre-straighten but I probably should have with this batch. Anyway, I also bought some arrowheads on eBay. And uh, I'm constantly amazed by these things. I mean, how, how cool is that? Now, I bought these from a uh, a guy on eBay uh, who said they were from Texas. Now, I don't really know if they are from Texas. Of course, they could be from the, from the Sahara Desert or something, but just the workmanship is amazing to me. I don't really care too much if these are from Texas or not. This one looks like it has an impact fracture in the, on the tip. The serrations are, are wild on this thing. Just amazing. And I, I forgot to get my scale, but these weigh almost nothing. I mean, just a few grams or something, I don't know. They, they don't weigh much at all. I've also been uh, heat treating. This batch here is a, uh, a batch I heated to about 350 degrees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out chip on a little bit of each one and see how it works. The real tough stuff is going to get put back in and heated to uh, 450 degrees and um, that way none of this broke up so I'm trying to prevent breakups, trying to prevent the uh, rock from shattering. At 350 degrees none of this shattered. I also dried it for a day at 250 degrees the full 24 hours and none of it none of it uh, exploded or cracked or anything I've also been working on some something for a trade I'm doing a bow trade this is the bow I'm working on it's actually pretty late it's a uh, it's, it's, it was floor tillered about a year and a half ago, and I just got back into uh, working on it. I just need to do the final tillering on this. There's a, there's a couple issues with this bow. The, the osage has some cracks in it from drying out. And most of the time this is fine, but some of these cracks run off the edge. What I'm going to do is I'll wrap with sinew around that th that area, and near the tip, there's also a spot where the cracks run off. I think uh, up here. There's one right there. I'll wrap sinew right there from going anywhere. These ones in the middle should be fine. And they're not very deep. The other end is very similar. There's some runoff on that side. Luckily it's in an area that doesn't bend that much. The area that bends a lot is pretty clear on both limbs. It's a little long for a uh, Native American style bow, but not excessively long. And I'm still going to do some finishing on it. This is the uh, the bow I got in trade. 
out of vine maple. That's awesome. Can't wait to do some hunting with it, do some shooting with it. a lot more videos on heat treating maybe uh, five or six explaining the different types of rock this is really it, it can get really involved you can really uh, spend a lot of time figuring out which rocks will heat at what temperatures and, uh, it really makes a difference especially if you want to uh, make points maybe even for a living you can uh, if you get the right formula for cooking these stones, it makes it a lot easier for you to make arrowheads and you can make quite a few uh, quickly. Anyway, that's it for now.